Well, even though Cyber Monday is tomorrow, some big deals are already online. Maybe you've already taken advantage of them. And if you are one of the millions of people shopping online here this weekend, there are some things to look out for to protect your money. Let's bring in 10 Tampa Bay's Tweelon Winch. She's up live with us on the bright side this morning. Tweelon, you've got some good advice from the Hillsborough State Attorney here. Yeah, Josh, this, good morning. He said that it's got to be, you've got to be really careful this year because as more people shop online, there are more people out there trying to take advantage of your hard earned money. And there are some things that you should look out for because when you do shop online and this may happen to you, he says he wants to prosecute everyone who does these crimes, but that's often not possible because they're not local and they're really hard to track down. So he says you've got to watch out for these three scams really to be on the lookout for fake products, fake websites, and fake tickets. Fake products, we mean people selling you something that you think you're buying the PlayStation, but they're only giving you the PlayStation box. Fake websites or when people are using phishing scams to get you to sign into a website so that they can get your user information or bank account information. And fake tickets are, especially during the holiday season, we see these markets shopping markets or holiday events come around where people are paying for something and then they're not actually getting the real ticket. And the solution, the prevention in all of these cases is to make sure that you know who you're giving your information to. An easy way to tell if a website is legit is to look for any misspellings in the URL. You can also look for a tiny padlock in the address bar. And don't click any links that are sent to you in an email. Go to the website directly by typing it in yourself. Yeah, and of course, even if you do buy it safely to Elon, right, you could still run into issues like porch pirates. Yeah, Josh, porch pirates are a huge issue because they are swiping those packages right off your front porch. And it's a huge issue here in Tampa. So the Hillsborough uh, Sheriff's Office says you can actually ship your packages to their office. They will hang on to them until you can show up and pick them up. So people probably won't be stealing them from the Sheriff's Office. And another option for you is sometimes to pick up a curbside. You can just drive up and they'll bring it to your car if you don't want to go inside because of COVID-19. And then also, this may be the time of year to get yourself a P.O. box, so that way you can ship all of your packages to an office somewhere, and they can hold them safely until you can go and personally get them yourself. It certainly helps save you a headache down the line. All right, Tweelon, good information. Let's take a deeper dive here into the record-breaking online shopping that we're already doing this holiday. Adobe Analytics says that we spent $9 billion just on Black Friday, most of it spent online. And we're not done yet. Adobe predicts that tomorrow, Cyber Monday, will be the largest online sales day in U.S. history. Maybe a good thing, too, since Sensormatic, it's the technology used in store doorways, apparently measured a 52% drop in in-person shopping on Black Friday.